got at this place is 736, right? I got at this place about 7.30, I want to say. I've got here about 7.30 and all that. Doing my tug test right now. Yeah, that's how it sounds with the microphone there thing. I don't know if it sounds a little better or not. But I guess we're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see. But I guess I'm going to have to make this like a part three to my video. Because uh, I wasn't expecting a part three. I thought I would be done after that part two. Uh, got the speaker connected as you can see I got that connected it's working and stuff so yeah I guess I had to figure out how to do that but um it did it was on I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing so um I guess I may make this a part two instead with this microphone in my hand because uh I think I'm liking this a lot better I don't know I mean like I don't know if I can even be heard clear but I know I can speak clear in this motherfucker. I know that much, which I'm liking that a little bit. So, uh, I do like how I can speak a lot clearer through this bitch. Um, you know, and talk up a little more. So I hope y'all can hear me very well. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all should be able to, even in this loud ass truck. I'm sure y'all could hear me uh, and everything I'm saying. No more point, no problem now. Uh, I do have ASMR on it. But I'm sure I probably won't be needing that by now, so... Uh, but I'm gonna leave that bitch on anyway. I'm gonna just let it record like that anyway. So, um... Now, let's start this all over again. Since I got the microphone, like I said. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give a special shout-out to my boy, Aldo Ruiz. Uh, your birthday was actually Monday. Um, this video is getting posted, like, super fucking late anyway. But, um... Yeah, I want to go ahead and give my boy a special shout out. I appreciate you watching my videos always as um, you have been since I started. So I really respect that and I appreciate that, my G. I appreciate that. I'm always watching. No, not who follows, but yeah. Um, so anyways, without further ado, uh, I hope everybody has been doing all right. Um, I hope y'all, you know, holiday and whatnot and weekend and all that has been going well for y'all. Uh, I had a little fun time myself this weekend. I can't complain. I uh, ran and grabbed a few things. I uh, had to whip my daughter ass a little bit, but, you know, hey, it is what it is, you know. Uh, all we can do is try and be parents, you know. I'm not saying I'm the best at it, but, hey, you know, I'm doing what I can, and I'm there. I'm with my kids, so at least they do have their daddy. That's one thing I can say. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I just had me a half a sandwich earlier. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to post that part since I uh, I did talk about a few things, but, you know, I'm just be like, fuck it. I'm just starting a new video. Like I said, this going to be my new part two of it, and uh, I'm just going to prevail with this. Uh, I do want to say, it seems that with the negative energy that we have, um, it, it like, and, and this is just, you know, uh, I'm going to say it me in particular. I want to go with me in particular on this one. Um, I was just thinking like back in the past on some recent activities when I was young, like in my uh, early teens, you know, like 12, 13. Uh, I was thinking back in my uh, school age time, you know, and I was just uh, sitting there thinking about it. And, you know, it never occurred to me that it is so true. Uh, I forgot who said this. Somebody had said this before. Um, it's so true, though. That did you, when a, uh, well, maybe not everyone, but when a lot of people think about the past, especially someone who isn't successful, um, you know, like like a minimum wage person like me, or or even sometimes it can be some people who are successful, but majority of the people who look back in their past and, and the ones who weren't happy uh, probably know what I'm talking about. Um, in your past, when you look back at the younger you and what you didn't have or what you weren't satisfied with, it seems like, uh, you know, a lot of people can't let that go. And they use it as turmoil to make themselves feel happier or get higher in life or get a better career in life, a.k.a. like me truck driving. It's not the best career, but it's a better career um, than 
um, the lifestyle I did ahead. Um, so I am thankful for how I ended up driving. I'm thankful for what I have. But a lot of people do sit and think about their past when they were unfortunate or misfortunate or, or broke and bummy looking, you know, having people pick on them and treat them like underdogs. Um, I'll even go ahead and admit that, that was, I was actually one of those people in um, my wife as well, actually. It's funny how we just have to uh, meet, you know, it's just crazy. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. But, um, going back to that subject, uh, it seems like, you know, like, like me, uh, like I was just saying, I had that, um, thing, that little issue to where I couldn't, um, I just couldn't really be one of those popular people because I, I wasn't really too uh, into the clothes. Like, um, yeah, I, I don't really care about clothes brand or name brand. That's not really something that I do. Like right now, as you see, I'm wearing a black tee and I'm wearing some camo pants. I don't even, I mean shorts, but I don't even know what kind of fucking shorts these are. And I wouldn't care if these bitches were like $5 from Walmart. I would still rock these bitches because, um, you know, what I do, my clothes and stuff get dirty. And I'm not about to get no nice ass clothes dirty. So I just don't really care for clothes. It's just not me. I could wear it on my free time, but like I said, I'm just, I don't really care for clothes. I'm, it's not me. Uh, I do other stuff like electronics and all that. That's more of my, uh, that's just my route and what I like to do. Now, like I was saying though, uh, shit, hold on. I think that's better. Okay, all right, there we go. Yeah, so, um, you know, people will hold on to stuff like that and those memories being picked on or, or being laughed at for having, you know, ugly shoes, ugly clothes, this and that. Or just being, you know, being treated different because you weren't as perfect as everybody else, which that was bullshit. We all know now ain't nobody perfect. Even those popular kids, their parents probably going through some shit, struggling. Mother or dad probably cheating like fuck on the other one or running around town dogging themselves out to make sure their kids look fancy and some new shoes and shit. Or, or some good ass polo, you know, polos. But hey, you know, that ain't me. That ain't my business. I'm just sitting here sipping my damn liquor or my beer or my tea. Hey, you know, that's me. I'm gonna do me. But, you know what's funny about all that? A lot of people don't sit and think uh, in, that, in that same past that you were thinking all the negativity and the negative stuff that happened to you. A lot of people seem to not ever think about any of the positive stuff that happened to them during the positive times they were having. And right now, I'm talking in front of a cop right now. I'm doing this in front of a cop right now, just so y'all know. There's a cop behind me, but I guess he was nice enough to let me get back over and keep doing this video. I ain't preaching like no pastor, no bullshit, but hey, I'm preaching my truth, you feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep preaching my truth, I guess, since he ain't gonna come fucking with me. So anyways, yes, as I was saying, um, if you take those same things, like those negative times that you was just, you know, sitting there thinking and agreeing with me on that I just was talking about, nine times out of ten, I bet you had at least, like most people have 70 to 80 percent happier times than the sad times, or those little bit, 30 to 20 percent sad times that you're thinking about. Now, of course, there are some people out there who do have harder times. Uh, I'm not going to act like everyone's perfect. There are some people. I mean, even my uh, my wife, we, like I said, it, it's crazy how we met, but we never expected to meet. I never expected to run into her. I just know I wanted someone good, and uh, she knew she wanted a man that was good. And, you know, bam, we ended up running into each other and linking, and she just, I don't know, I bet the best way to put it, she liked my energy, I liked her energy, and we just been together since, you know, that's the best way to put it, I don't know, um, but, you know, there's, there's always a bright side to everything, it's not, it, honestly, it does feel hard, though, I'm not even gonna sit here a lot, like, um, as I draw out earlier, shit, Like when I was driving earlier, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I got mad as shit uh, in, the, in the middle of the recording because someone jumped out right in front of me um, from the highway exit, you know, from the exit ramp. They jumped out right in front of me going like 60 miles per hour and they weren't even going 60. I'm like, I can understand if you were, if you were hitting the gas, you know, trying to speed up and you hit a little distance in front of me. But it seems like a lot of people still
still doesn't seem to understand and get the notion, get the bigger picture, that if you just jump out in front of a truck, it's not like jumping out in front of a car. I can't just slam the brakes and, oh, stir, you know, move over like that and just, oh, his, you know, pull over and catch my breath. No. It's a, a seven foot, and quote, this tractor all the way to the back is seven feet. Now, you had that 53 foot trailer that's basically 60 feet from the back of my trailer to right now in the front row, well no, not even including the front where you see me on camera. If you include the hood, the hood, all the way from the rear of the trailer to the hood of this truck, that's 60 whole feet. If you jump out in front of me while I'm going 60 miles per hour, how? Please, someone, whoever watches the video, if you or someone or know someone who does that, Please explain to me how a truck can clearly stop going 60 miles per hour or over that and you're in a car, not a truck, but a tractor and a trailer. As you see, I got a big ass trailer behind me. So please tell me, how is that possible? I would love to hear that from, uh, I'm, you know, and I'm not saying this with any ad ad attitude or any anger. I'm just, you know, I would be seriously fucking, fucking flabbergasted if there was someone who actually sits there and tries to preach on anything about that because it's fucking stupid. There's no way a truck can. So if anyone even tried that, I would seriously be just flabbergasted if you even commented that shit. Like, wow. I'm not gonna say I would slap you because I'm not, but you really do deserve to be slapped if, to even try to uh, comment that shit. Anyways, so, it's, it's just, you know, stuff happens, you know, of course nobody ain't gonna be perfect, I'm not, um, and I hope everybody has been trying to eat healthy out there, like I said, I, I had me a sandwich, or uh, half of my sandwich, uh, I ain't saying you gotta, you know, eat completely healthy, it ain't, nobody can't be perfect, I ain't either, um, I got my other half of sandwich I'm gonna eat at some point here, um, and shit like that, but you know, I ain't gonna complain, I do got my grapes, my strawberries, my cherries, my watermelon, pineapple chunks, uh, and an orange too. I got my bananas and um, my muffin. Speaking of, hold on right quick, hold on right quick. Gotta get a little shout out. Yeah, I hit my tooth too. That shit kinda hurt, hold on. I 
I didn't ask for it, but they tried. They tried the nigga. I swear to God, I'm gonna have to kill somebody. I think I'm gonna have to kill a white man. And that ain't gonna turn out too good, but I don't play. I don't play. Especially about my money. I think somebody needs to learn a lesson. But y'all, I'm serious. I hope everybody, you know, been doing everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, eating that healthy and all that, you know, drinking healthy. I still have been drinking my uh, water, lemon water at work. Uh, today, I actually have uh, lemon and watermelon water. Sadly, I wasn't able to bring my uh, bottle at the moment for this video. I left it at the uh, job in the refrigerator because uh, I didn't have a trailer ready for me when I was when I got to work. So i just been sitting on the clock. I will admit though, one thing I do love about this job, uh, I get paid by the hour now. I don't get paid by the mile. That's right, I get paid by the hour, not the mile. So it don't really fucking matter to me no more. I mean, I do get mad when people do dumb shit, like cut me off, like I said, or, you know, just doing dumb shit you know you wouldn't do. Uh, but you do it anyway because with truck drivers, I mean, that's the only, the only thing I don't like. But uh, other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty straight. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really typically get much mad anymore of a lot of things that people do. Only because, like I said, I, I get paid by the hour, man. So I don't give a fuck if I'm sitting in traffic. If I'm sitting in traffic for two or three hours, four hours throughout the whole day because a big ass wreck happened. I'm gonna be in this bitch playing on my phone, doing something, which I got video game stuff too, so I'm, I'm always ready and I'm always prepared. I am get the fuck go. I'm a game on my fucking phone while I'm chilling. You know what? Because I get paid by the hour. I don't motherfucking care if I got a flat tire in that bitch and I gotta sit for goddamn almost my whole fucking day. I'm gonna sit in that motherfucker happily playing my games. You know why? Because I get paid by the hour. I swear to God, you cannot beat that. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, this company ain't the best. They ain't the fucking best. But the pay is good. It's just as good, as, well, honestly, a bit better than any of my other jobs. Um, benefits, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna go into that. But, anyways, it's, it's pretty much decent with the pay. It's good, and I'm close by the fucking house. I mean, like I'm trying to tell you, when y'all go on the truck driving, if you have it already, ain't nothing better than having a job that you get to go to and come home every day, and it's not far from your house. Because I know a lot of you people who work locally now, even if it's not truck driving, I know a lot of people who work locally, and they tell me about how far they come from their job. Like this one old woman I met when I worked at uh, Polo. I worked at Polo for a couple weeks, and them bitches let me go because I wasn't working fast enough. I'm like, bitch, I'm used to being a truck driver. I'm fucking uh, pack all that sh stuff and shit. I don't do that. That's not me. I'm not I'm not a packer. I'm not a person who packs shit. And, and no disrespect, uh, picker packer, yeah. I'm not a picker packer. And no disrespect to anyone who does that picker packer, because like I said, I did it for a few weeks. Man, that shit is exhausting. Your feet are fucking hurt. It's tiresome. That shit is tiresome. And they work you like a dog to fucking kill you. And they work you like a dog just to uh, try and support you. Uh, like Polo, they did that to me. They tried to support me, but they let me go quicker because they saw I didn't care about that promotion shit they had going on. Basically what they were doing, they were trying to hire a bunch of tip people to get a bunch of shit moved out and shipped that they needed to. But, um, and, and just to make them move fast, like to work you like a dog and for you to be okay with it. They wanted you to meet a certain quota, and you had to uh, stay working at Polo by a certain day to uh, get this uh, sale event they had to where you buy a ticket. You pay for one ticket, uh, I think it was like 20 30 or $40, something like that, but you pay for that one ticket, and then you can run inside of the, this place, I ain't gonna say where, but you can run inside this place, and you would be able to, um, to, uh, 
you know, get as much clothes as you want. As long as you show them either the ticket, I think, or the wristband that you paid to get in, you can get however many, however many pieces of clothing you want, however much you want, stuff it in, whatever the fuck you wanted to stuff it in, as long as you can carry it out. And you can do that as long as you paid that payment, but you couldn't leave. Once you leave, I think you had to pay again, something like that. But, um... Yeah, I didn't really work my ass off hard. I did work. I did my work. I only talked a little bit to this old woman who constantly would talk to me. But other than that, I would really work unless she came and talking to me. I wouldn't stop and bullshit around like that. Um, yeah, I still wasn't making my quota. Uh, my quota was at 50 something percent. Even though I was working, I came to work on time and everything. But because I wasn't working faster, and I mean like work your ass off because I was working fast. I'm not even bullshitting. I even recorded it a few times. I have it on my Google Photos. I have uh, little recordings of me working, but they want you to work like fucking Sonic apparently. Cause that shit, I felt like I was doing good enough, but it was not good enough to them motherfuckers. So anyways, uh, you go ahead and do your thing. Once you make your, uh, fill up the toast, you know, well, I'm sure people who've done it already know, so you ain't got to listen to this if you don't want to, but, uh, for those who haven't done this, pick and pack and shit, basically, yeah, you do that, pick and pack, you pick stuff up, scan it to make sure it's the right item, throw it in the tote, once you fill up the tote, you take the tote to, either on the first, second, or third floor, and you take it to their, uh, uh, conveyor belt shit, you drop the tote off there, and, um, once you drop the tote off there, you know, you pick up another two totes, because usually you fill up two totes at a time. So you fill up the, uh, you pick up another two totes, you fill them up the same way as you did with the first one, go about a bang, you got that shit done, and it's gonna keep going like that all day until your lunch break, then all day until your next break, and then all day until you leave, and repeatedly, every day. And I, th I think overtime was required, mandatory. Overtime was mandatory. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm like, man, I don't like working on my fucking Saturdays. I'll be real, I love having my Saturdays off. That's why I like this job as well. I was only Monday through Friday and good other shit like that. But it's a great, it's a you know, decent enough job. It's something I'm fine with. It's uh, good hours, good pay, and I'm home on weekends. The last job I was doing, uh, if, don't get me wrong, it was alright, but the distance was just a little too far. The pay, it wasn't as high as this one, I can guarantee you that. It was nowhere near as high as this one. Um, and then on top of that, whenever they wanted me to work on my weekends, so like, basically, instead of me getting um, a day or two off during the weekends, they always gave me a day off during the week because everybody else wanted the weekend off. And... I was gonna be the one having to work the weekend. Now the fucked up part was I was supposed to be a yard uh, a yard jockey switcher, uh, the the main guy too. I was gonna be the head, the, the basically the nigga in charge, the head nigga in charge. Excuse me, sorry. I was gonna be the head nigga in charge, but I never even accepted or or uh, proved of me being called that. Because everybody kept telling me this and that, and that the person training you uh, said you're going to be the head, you know, you the head nigga in charge. Every time they came to me with that shit, I'm like, ah, oh, nah, nah, look, I ain't no head nigga. I, look, I'm just a little dude, man. Because first off, if I'm supposed to be a head nigga, a head nigga in charge, why the fuck am I going to be getting paid $17 an hour? The, the, the pay raise did jump up to $19, $19.50 an hour, I believe. But I still get paid more than that at my new job. Where I'm at now, I still get more than what they did get paid at my last job. Um, so I'm like, yeah, well, that still couldn't even top my new job. Like, it's, uh-uh. And then you think I'm supposed to be doing all this hard work? I show up on time. I don't complain. I let almost everyone else there complain. And a lot of people quit like I did. Um, but I never complain. I came to work on time. If I was going to be late, I just let it be known straight up. Hey, I'm going to be late, this and that. Make sure you know ahead of time. Yeah, I'm going to need some time, this and that. Um, I just made sure you knew ahead of time. Now, the only thing I did do was when it was time for me to leave, um, you know, because how they were doing us with the pay and all and, not, and something, some, a couple other things I ain't going to talk about. When 
when I got my opportunity for to get with this company, all I did was just take that time off, you know, tell them, hey, I need this day off. As soon as she said, yeah, I told that, uh, I told this company that I'm with now, I was like, hey, look, I got Monday and Tuesday off. Let's do it all the weekend to make sure we get everything ran, processed, and, you know, good to go so I can be in the door first thing tomorrow, first thing Monday, or either Tuesday morning so I can dip on this company. And that's exactly what I did. As soon as I got my foot in that fucking door, I dip. I fucking dip. All you saw was these feet in my ass, literally. Feet clapping on my ass while I'm running. Cause I dipped from that motherfucker. I love where I'm at now. So, you know, yeah. Also, hey man, I'm for real. I hope uh, everybody's doing all right and I hope everybody's doing good. You know, hey, if you uh, need to, go ahead and smoke you on a blank. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chief keep that shit, do what you gotta. You know, anything to make yourself feel better, you know what I'm saying? Because we all need those signs. I don't judge and I, uh, but yeah, you know, hey, whatever you do, your heart does a heavy does, you do your heart a heavy does, I ain't gonna complain. That's on you, you know, have your plan, do you. Uh, if it has you turn up, then hey, by any means turn up, Gene, do your thing. You deserve that turn up, you know what I'm saying? You deserve that turn up, you deserve that. So, um, yeah, make sure you turn up very well, do your thing. And have fun for me, because I'm not gonna do none of that shit. Uh, I will have a drink though, once I'm done with this. I will have me a drink after I'm done today, I know that much. You be Kanye. Hey, I got this up truck driver, I just passed too. Uh, I got all these cars and trucks and shit behind me. I know these niggas mad than a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm being mad than a motherfucker, but I don't give a damn. Uh, that's what some of y'all asses get out here. I ain't gonna say what I ain't gonna say no more, but that's what some of y'all motherfuckers get. Because y'all don't know how to fucking stay in the lane that you gonna be in. That's what y'all get. I fucked up traffic, and I'm glad I did that shit today. Um, and don't hold nothing against me. I'm, I'm usually not that type to do that, but I just don't like when people are being assholes, like I said, so that's how that is today. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, hey, people be assholes out here. You know, it, it, it just be crazy. Like, we truck drivers don't get no respect. I'm just saying, we, we don't get no respect, but it's like, you know, when y'all need y'all food and all this other stuff, you know, tissue to wipe your ass, you know, or some paper towels to dry your hands off bottle of water to quench that thirst like right now uh, hey you know don't look at truck drivers because we want shit over the road so you know hey when y'all need to choke the old foot of good old aqua don't look my way because I don't know shit I don't know shit yeah I got this uh driver trying to pass me right now Oh, no, that's a van with a Jeep. Okay, I got this little white Jeep trying to pass me. I got a van right beside me. I thought that nigga was already past me, to be honest. So I'm kind of surprised he just now passed me and shit. Yeah, that's a little better, you know what I'm saying? Because this truck over here, he mad. Uh, he trying to pass me on the right lane. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Most trucks don't usually do that. But hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, big dog over here. Uh, flying by me. Yeah, there you go. He flying by me in that UPS truck. I see him and shit, you know. Well, like 70 on a 55 and shit. You yeah, know, nah, I ain't snitching. Don't call me no snitch, bitch. Because, I always say this, a UPS truck, I ain't reading no serial numbers or none of that shit. So, there could be any fucking UPS driver on any fucking interstate hitting whatever the fuck he hitting. I don't know what he hitting. Well, actually, I do, but I ain't gonna say it. Don't worry about that. I'm serious. I hope I... Ah, oh, damn. I think it died. They hit that on me. Damn, I'm gonna have to charge this bitch back up. Damn. I don't know. Oh, hey, oh, okay, there you go. I thought it died. I was about to say, damn, I want to end the video and shit. Because I was enjoying this video. I ain't gonna lie. I like, I like having this little speaker and shit. Because I can't use this at the house, you know what I'm saying? Because the baby be sleep all the time. Man, my baby be goddamn sleep. I love my child. Damn, there be a lot of stuff I be wanting to do. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. The wife will fucking kill me. I'm trying to tell you. She will fucking kill me. I'm scared of my wife more than I'm scared of my goddamn boss. And I mean that. I'm serious. I care more about what my wife thinks than what my boss thinks. My boss, no disrespect to you boss, but fucking kiss my ass. 
That's just how much, uh, I mean, you know, hey, when it comes to the wife, her input is just important. Her shit important. I mean, sometimes I love my wife, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I don't be wanting to share, but I choose to always share with her only because I feel it's better to always give to my other half because she's always gonna be there and be in my head telling me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. You know, and sometimes we really be needing that shit. I mean, like, for real, we sometimes really need that shit. You know, we gotta have our queens by our side. I mean, me, I prefer my black queen, you know, but, um, I, I don't, you know, hey, we gotta, you know, just our other half. Whether most of us wanna admit it or not, in my opinion, this is what I think, that uh, it's best to always have that other half in your ear. I mean, you know, like I said, my, my wife sometimes get on my fucking nerves, but I do always sometimes sit and think about what the fuck she tell me, you know. I, I really have to sometimes, because there's times, like when we go to this flea market that I like, yeah, I, I told you I'm a cheap motherfucker, so I'm gonna admit that, I don't really give a damn. Hold on, Mike, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. accept yourself for who you are. You gotta accept that you are who you are and that you do what you do. You like what you like. 